I wanted to offer a few words of wisdom about failure while we're still under the energy of this very powerful, huge, beautiful, super full moon. This week is greatly impacted. This week is greatly about new beginnings. It just brings this fresh start and this illumination, this realization to things in our lives that perhaps we've been not aware of and just kind of blind to. And so as I was contemplating failure, there are three components of failure that are evidence of how much failure in our lives is 100% a positive and why it is necessary and the benefits that we can get from failure. And the very first one is learning. So failure always teaches. There is always a master lesson, if not several master lessons within failure, whether it's the failure of a relationship, whether it is the failure of a business, whether it is the failure of any other type of relationship, not a partnership necessarily. But there are so many teachings, there's so much to learn from failure. And so I wanted to present to you with a newer perspective, with a fresh perspective, with a new beginning perspective when it comes to failure, because failure is the precursor to success. Chaos is necessary before any kind of flow or normalcy can take place and can happen. Chaos always precedes order, right? And so if you really think about anything that you have failed with in your life or any relationship failures or anything that you've deemed as a failure in your life up until this point, just think about all of the wisdom that you were able to extract from that failure. Think about all of the things that you learned from those failures, all of the ways in which you were shown of how to do something better or how to do something differently. So failure is such a key component to a new beginning, right? It always precedes a new beginning. It's like I said, chaos precedes order. So we must go through a breakdown process. We must go through this grinding it out and ironing out, you know, the wrinkles and figuring out what each of those wrinkles are and what they mean and, and what we're meant to extract in terms of learning from those, right? That is the process that we all must go through before our new beginning can happen, right? It's, it's how, how am I getting wiser? What am I learning from this situation? What is this situation really teaching me about my values, about what I desire, about what I want to live according to? Oh, this beautiful hawk just flew by as I am saying this. So when you really look at your values and that hawk is confirming those values right now, that that is what it helps to narrow down. That is so much of the learning that you get from failure. Now the second thing, the second lesson or the second extraction that positive extraction that you get from failure is redirection. Failure always redirects you. Once you realize something isn't working for you, once you realize that, you know, that you have failed at something or that not even that you necessarily failed at something because sometimes failure comes in the form of other people just um, doing something that, you know, ends up not working out for us. Like for example, if you end up getting fired from a job, right? In your eyes, in your ego's eyes, that might seem like a failure, but in actuality, that's a redirection. That's a redirection from your higher self, your soul. It is also a redirection from God. So that redirection is meant to pivot you. It's, it's, it's like showing you that, hey, this isn't where you're supposed to be, or this isn't the environment you're supposed to be in, or this isn't the person you're supposed to be with. And it redirects you and shows you and basically guides you to a new path. So don't look at failure 
especially in circumstances where like somebody cheats on you, for example, in a relationship or someone does something behind your back or, or betrays you in some kind of way in a relationship, that failure of that relationship is 100% a redirection. It isn't the person that you are truly in alignment with. And so therefore you're not meant to be with that individual and you're meant to move on. You're meant to pivot, redirect, right? And move in a different direction. And in a lot of cases, what I have found with clients is that when someone is redirected out of a relationship, it, they are always redirected for their best and highest good, meaning that they are supposed to be either by themselves for a period of time to get to know themselves on a deeper level. Maybe they're supposed to um, just have that alone time, that sort of hermit mode where they really get to reflect and really get to know themselves or it's like a clearing, right? It's a redirection towards another person because maybe someone else is actually already lined up by spirit for that person to connect with. So there are always deep, deep purposes of this redirection that happens as a result of failure, right? And so I want you to really start looking at failures, failures as a positive, as a really good thing in your life because like I said, it's teaching you something really, really valuable, either about yourself, either about the people around you, the circumstance you're in, the situations that you're in. And usually uh, this learning I find is in layers. So some of it is going to be immediately evident to you. And, and then other parts of the learning is going to come later from that failure. It's not going to be immediate. You're going to see it like later down the road and recognize of like, you know, maybe once you have that new job, then you're going to reflect back and be like, oh my God, like that. I'm so glad I was let go from that previous job because I love this so much more. This offers more money, more flexibility, uh, better hours, right? Like there are so many layers to that learning that are going to come along the way. Some of it, like I said, immediate and others that are going to come later. So stay open to that and allow Step two, the redirection part of that failure to happen. Allow yourself to go with the flow, to really tune into the flow of like, where am I supposed to go next? Am I supposed to just take a pause right now and maybe spend some time with myself uh, or with my kids or my spouse or whoever? You know, am I supposed to just relax and, and, um, you know, take a moment to kind of regroup myself before I move on to, to this new <laughs> redirection, right? So give yourself some time and some grace to figure that out for yourself, but know that the redirection happens. The redirection isn't always immediate. Sometimes it takes a week or two weeks or a month or a year or whatever before that redirection fully lines up and how you line up with that redirection and how quickly you line up with that redirection really depends on your own personal alignment. So if there's a lot of learning still and you're still moving through the learning phase of a failure, then that means you're not quite ready yet for the full redirection to happen. So the redirection is already simultaneously taking place as soon as the failure happens, but you don't necessarily get there until you are fully aligned vibrationally and are fully ready to embrace that new beginning. So like I said, this could be for some people, it's like a day and for other people, it could be a year or anything in between. Go with the flow, trust your own pace, trust your own direction, uh, redirection and trust how fast or how slow it's happening for you. This isn't something that we can force. This is usually something that we just have to kind of go with the flow and then our own learning as we accumulate wisdom, as we accumulate understanding, it allows us to kind of get there faster. But it, it's not a process that we can speed up. It's not a process that we can slow down. It's, uh, it's really just about going with your own flow, going with your own process, however long that takes for you. And the third blessing of a failure is setup. So once the learning has taken place, once the redirection has taken place, there's also a setup that is taking place. And this setup is the setup of you for the next phase of your journey. 
So whenever a failure takes place in your life, something doesn't go your way or something doesn't go in a way that you would expect it to go, then that typically offers this third blessing of setting you up for something significantly better, something that is uh, significantly more expansive, more wide, more broad, uh, in term, more encompassing in terms of what uh, of opportunities become available to you. And so that setup part is, is, is this third final blessing of the failure that, you know, we need to remain open to, that we re really need to allow ourselves to go and move into, you know, and really ponder and think about that. Like, what is this setting me up for? Or what do I have the opportunity to set up as a result of this failure. So as you move through the process, like I said, of loss, of going through something that was unexpected, something that you would deem as a failure, remember these three key blessings of the failure and remind yourself that failure is a very positive thing. It is not negative. It is something that is truly guiding you towards your best and highest good. And it is guiding you in such a way that is going to feel uncomfortable, that is going to feel unusual, it's going to feel, you know, unexpected and shocking and weird and not something that you necessarily feel prepared for. But the only reason why we end up getting um, these sort of overreactions to something that we deem as a failure is because our mind, our survival mind constantly wants to be in control right? It constantly wants to be in control of every situation, every person, everything in our life. And so when something happens abruptly or unexpectedly, it isn't something the mind had any control over. And so in that moment, you question your identity, you're questioning your uh, abilities, you're questioning yourself on a very deep foundational level, right? Because this wasn't something that you foresaw. It wasn't something that you saw coming. Uh, it wasn't something that you were able to prepare for in any kind of way. And so it throws us off, right? It, it kicks us into that survival brain and it makes us question everything. And it, it makes us question, you know, the validity of God sometimes. Uh, if it's a very tragic situation, right? Because in the moment, like the brain just literally can't comprehend the fact that it had no control, right? And so that's where we end up looking at something, at a situation as a failure, even though everything in life happens with purpose. Absolutely everything happens with purpose and happens for a reason. Like I said, it's meant to teach you something. It is meant to redirect you and it's meant to set you up in a brand new way. So remind yourself of this and, and just keep these three blessings in mind the next time you experience something that is unexpected, something that is, um, you know, heavy or difficult for you to process in the moment and just be very patient with yourself and be very kind and just loving with yourself about it and just remind yourself like, okay, I just need to take a little moment here and kind of wrap my head around everything that's going on and I will accept the fact that this is a redirection for me. I know I'm meant to learn something from this. Perhaps it is acceptance, perhaps it is patience, perhaps it is just to learn how to be at peace with things. Perhaps it's a lesson to learn to go with the flow, right? There are so many hidden blessings and, and uh, lessons within difficult situations. So remember with this beautiful full moon this week, with this new beginning energy this week, that you are being redirected, you are being taught something very valuable, and that you are being set up for a brand new chapter, for a brand new beginning in your life. So go with that flow, don't resist it, allow it Keep your heart open, keep yourself in gratitude for everything that you have experienced and learned and for how far you have come, for how much you have grown in the process of your previous failures and, and really just pat yourself on the back, you know, let yourself recognize that you are human and that you are here to learn and that you are here to have failures and have new beginnings because that's what makes life interesting and that's what makes life worth living. So keep going my friends, keep positive and stay in your own beautiful flow and just trust your intuition more than ever. 
right now, especially this week, trust your intuition, allow it to guide you to that next beautiful phase of your new beginning. Thank you so much for watching. Hit a like on your way out, subscribe to the channel, and I will see you in the next video. Take care.